Tide CP, it's a French company. All the other garages, they've all got their rises. Every other company in the whole of London, right, has actually paid 2.4, 2.5%. I mean, you look at Metroline, it's got 3.5%. We're way behind everyone. We're way behind. We've got to take a stand. We was offered 2.2% before the pandemic and then as soon as the pandemic they used that as an excuse to offer us less money. We work into the pandemic as well. I've never been a day off, only since my mom passed away I was three days off. Instead to, to pay us, they basically take him from us. And seven pence I think is taking the mic. Since it's all gone private, it's gone backwards, drastically. Some of us on one of the routes hasn't had a voyage license for three years. We're hearing they're investing all over the world. Saudi Arabia, France itself, millions from what we have. My wife has lost her job. He's been so supportive for his family now, right? So at the end of the day, he's still got to come on strike to fight for his rights. So he's, so he's more pressure on him again because he's losing money. At the moment, they don't pay us for 40 minutes of our break. They want to increase that to one hour. We don't have a locker, we don't have a canteen. They want us to do 10 hours straight, every day, 10 hours. We shouldn't have no social life. I've got three children. I shouldn't see my children at all. They want us to be here all the time. We're here to provide for the public. And why are we not getting the respect that we deserve? And why are we not getting the money that we deserve? The trains, they get double what we get and we have to deal face to face with people all the time. I've got a very close friend of ours who's spent two months in a coma, had a tube put through the side of him to take out all the liquid from his lungs and he's just come back into work. There's so many more people in here that have actually been inflicted with this virus. So at the end of the day, you know, we are out here, we're putting our efforts in, we're putting our lives on the line every single day. This garage personally, I think lost two or three. But overall on London Trent, on uh, TFL, yeah, I think it was up in the 50s or 60s. I'm not gonna say to you, we're as important as the NHS because I don't think we are. But we are also here doing a job. We risk ourselves every day as well and we risk our families. If we contract this disease, we could take it home and we could kill our loved ones because of the fact of what we're doing. Passengers are supposed to wear masks, but there's no one to enforce them. The passenger gets on the bus without a mask, we have to let them go because I, I, you, you can't, if you do challenge them, you're going to get a lot of verbal. So if they're enforcing the law, the police should be doing that. It's not for us to tell a man where to wear a mask or that. Before, inspectors used to get on the bus to check people's tickets and that. Inspectors have not been on the bus for over the pandemic started. No inspectors have got on the bus to check, to check nothing. Another company called Abello, they blocked off their front door and they had to go around the back. So you had to take law into your own hands and I was letting them get into the my back. PPEs, they weren't provided, nothing was done until we actually started going on. The company's trying to clean the bus, but I don't trust the company to clean the bus. So I bring all my antibiotics things in myself. Before I get in my bus, I clean my bus before I get into the cab every morning myself. When you're a bus driver, you're by yourself. You've got no one to help you. I mean, obviously education is important and they do, they've got to go back to school at one point or another. You know, and we're responsible for taking them there. But at the end of the day, it's hard for us. We have to not only self-guard ourselves, but then we have to look after our passengers as well. We've got to constantly press the buttons to say, you know, keep yourself social distance from each other. Uh, so that makes it really hard for us as well. If we have too many people coming on the bus at one go, I'd rather double decker. So they say we can't bring more than 30 people in technically. But sometimes when the school kids are on, you'll get 30 school kids to get on the bus alone. You know what I mean? So it's going to cause a lot of friction. So I don't, I don't think it'll work. At the end of the day, we are here and we are helping to run this country through the pandemic. We've done it and we've been here all through it. And we've been here all through these years. So why should we not get what we deserve?